welcome to Greece, Olympia, home of the original Olympic Stadium. I think it's the perfect starting point for a new adventure on KDM's new 790 Adventure R. And we've also got the standard 790. This is going to be a full in-depth test of the bike, its functions. And the main platform, over the next two days, we're going to work our way down to the Naxos Rally, hosted by my good friend, Ethimi Albertus. Yeah, it's actually a good opportunity having these wonderful bikes for the third annual Naxos Rally and we're all very excited about it. We had the initial media launch in Morocco. I had a little taste of the 790, you know, rode it past the Camel Road in the dunes. You've seen a lot of press about this bike in the last few months, but uh, we're creating something exciting, something different, and I'll give you my complete impressions of this machine at the end of the next four days. Let's see how it goes. Before I can ride a motorcycle fast, I need to trust it. I need predictability in the chassis. That feel of how a bike will react as the landscape changes beneath it. Forget the engine, forget the suspension, forget the brakes. If the basic geometry of a motorcycle's chassis is flawed, then it will never be a stable bike to ride. Rolling the 790s through this greasy leaf litter with a full tank of fuel and ordinary dual sport tyres has immediately revealed their true balance. When there's no grip, inertia and weight bias are all that keep you on two wheels. So it's obvious to me, KTM have designed this 190 kilogram machine around a perfect balance point. First, I'm going to switch this ABS off. So, just go to motorcycle, set, ABS. When I'm riding in the dirt, I want a dirt bike. I like to have complete feel of the wheels slipping and gripping beneath me. So we've switched off the ABS for this steep descent. Let's take experience out of the equation for a bit. The main difference you're about to see between the 790R and the 790 is suspension and ground clearance. Longer travel rally spec suspension on the R versus shorter travel touring suspension on the standard. I could tell you the tyres are hindering the 790R's true capabilities here, but let's just say I ran out of talent. That was good. It's running. Yeah. Now, you stay in the left lane because it's fresh. If you have the left, I'll have the right. I will, I will stay on the green. No, I stay in the left and charge up the hill. Okay. And, and, and just lean back a bit and keep driving. It should be easy, this one. It should be easy, yeah. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Let's roll, let's do this. Yeah, moto munitsu. There's a time and place for traction control, and right now, the 790's electronics are allowing us to experience this magnificent panorama.
200 k's down, I'm getting a good feel for the 790R. And just like that, we assume the position of poised and proper highway commuters. A strong street presence with an off-road agenda made apparent by the spatter of mud and dirt. I like it. I like knowing I can overtake three trucks in a row with the twist of a throttle, then disappear straight up a rugged mountain trail. And would you look at Ephthimis, eating up the kilometres like some kind of Greek street god. That's right, did I mention the 790s don't have a hydraulic clutch? At first, I couldn't believe KDM put a cable clutch on these bikes. But you know what? Whether you're thrashing them up hills or crawling through the city traffic, the clutch just does its thing, smoothly, and I'm yet to adjust any free play. Seriously, we did ride them yesterday, despite the fact that they looked squeaky clean a million bucks. Put about, did about 400 k's, that pretty much emptied the tank, so that was a good test, because it was really slippery. Anyway, I'm going to start with the negatives actually, that being the tyres that are fitted to the bike, because uh, they're probably a good thing for an all-rounder riding in dry conditions, but in, in the wet. This, this front tyre just filled up and it was sketchy as, but um, the tyre's a tyre, you're going to put on exactly what you want to use. And even though it was hard to find traction with the tyres, the balance of the bike was still gave you that confidence to have a go at climbing these huge hills and even dropping off some pretty steep downhills. You didn't feel like it was just going to take off like a runaway train. You always had predictability and control, especially over the front end. And ultimately, that's just the way they've set the fuel down here. It just has such a positive effect on your steering. And when you're steering over mud with rocks in it and all the shit that you come across off-road, I think for a bike that weighs nearly 200 kilos, it's just so impressive. You can attack terrain like this without having to be you know, that intimidated by its weight. There's so many ways you can choose to roll on the street. I guess your choice of motorcycle says a lot about the kind of rider you are. <laughs> it's been fun, Greece, but we've got a ferry to catch now. Naxos, it's good to be back again. I love this place. And this year, we have Panos and Kimon, two of the best enduro riders in Greece. The Naxos Rally does not discriminate. It's open to all kinds of crazy people and their fantastic motorcycles.
I've latched onto the back of Panos, who could no doubt be going faster, but he's running a decent pace on his 250F, and I feel the 790R's suspension will handle it just fine. In front of me now is Alex from the UK. He's competed in some of the big African rally events and can obviously ride his 1090R really well. But the suspension on the new 790R is far superior in these rugged conditions. Okay, enough tech talk. From here out I'll let the 790R speak for itself as we switch camera angles back to Kimon who's riding a 300cc two-stroke enduro bike. <laughs> This is the hardest I've ever been able to push a twin-cylinder off-road motorcycle. Well done, KTM. You've raised the dual sport bar to the highest level yet, and I believe the 790R will be the bike to bring a younger generation of riders into the adventure bike game. What can I say? Four days exploring an amazing country on a bike that can handle my style of riding. You don't care about downhills, uh, steps, nothing? No, just go where you feel you want yeah. to ride. 